Oh, welcome to another episode of Cooking with Carbonara. Today, we're going to make the Sunday sauce. Any good Sunday sauce is going to have none other than some fresh meatballs. So, we're going to get started on that right now. Alright, so you're going to start here with your ground beef and one clove of garlic. Right. You're going to want to add to that some breadcrumbs. Save a little if we need them. Some Parmesan cheese. Parsley, salt, pepper, a little bit of red pepper. One egg. And that's it. Now, of course, make sure you got clean hands because they're about to get filthy. You're going to want to get right in there mix it all together. Now, consistency is important here because if it's too wet, they're going to fall right apart in the pan. And what you're going to end up with is a nice bolognese. But if they're too dry, you're going to end up eating little sandpaper balls. They're a little wet, so we put in the rest of those breadcrumbs and just keep going. All right, so the right consistency is going to be like this here, where I can pick it up, right? Big solid mass, but still nice and soft. And now, your roll. Now again, consistency is key in the size as well, so you're going to want to grab a nice hunk like this. And I like to put a little piece of mozzarella right in the middle of there. And I'm going to use two hands to really roll it, but you want it to be a ball. I'm sure you can figure it out. All right, so now that our meatballs are rolled, we got the rest of our meat here too. So we got some pork ribs and pork sausage is going to go right in there. Sweet Italian pork. And that pork adds a lot of flavor to the sauce. Very important ingredient here. You can't leave it out. I feel like I really shouldn't have to say this, but in case some of you is a couple of animals or something like that, wash your hands. You're touching raw meat. You got to keep your hands clean. It's also a perfect time to introduce our celebrity guest, uh, Blue Point Blueberry Ale. That's what we had on hand. All right, so a little bit of olive oil in the pan, let it heat up, and in with your meat. Lay it away from you. Oh, wait. All right, so you just want the meat to get nice and brown on the outside. And remember what we learned last week, if it sticks, it don't flips, right? So let's see. Nice, easy. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, it sticks, it don't flips. Again, the idea here is not to cook the meat, it's just to brown it, because it's going to sit in the sauce for like two hours, it's going to get nice and tender, it's going to fall apart. Now, if somebody says to you, I don't like meat though, I don't eat meat, I'm a vegetarian. Well, what you do is, very calmly, very quietly, uh, find the nearest phone and call the police. Alright, on to the main event. We got two medium onions chopped, some Pecorino Romano, a little mix of bay and basil. We got two cloves of garlic chopped some Italian seasoning, salt and pepper to taste. So we're gonna heat some olive oil in the pot over medium heat, not a lot, just, you know, you wanna give the onions something to saute in. All right, so those onions are gonna be in there for a while and you don't want them to burn, so you just barely wanna hear that sizzle when you got them in there. They're gonna stay until they're translucent, the see-through. That's when you're ready for the next ingredient. Now listen close, this thing about the onions, it's no joke. If you burn these, you ruin the entire sauce. It's over, it's all done for. Make sure you give it a good stir, keep it moving around, don't let nothing stick, don't let nothing burn, nothing brown, you want it to get clear, not brown, clear, clear. Alright, that's what we want. So once those onions are ready to go, you're in with your next few ingredients, and it gets a little quick here. Alright, in with your basil and your bay leaves, and then in with the garlic. And remember what we learned about garlic, you just want to smell it, or else it's going to burn, and it's going to taste like ass. Everything a good stir. And once you can smell it all, and my god, I wish you could, in with the tomato paste. Tomato paste, not the, not the actual tomato, crushed tomatoes yet. Alright, let that cook for just maybe a minute. And then in with the crushed tomatoes. Four cans. And you may be wondering, what are you doing with that spoon there? Well, that's going to stop it from splashing so you don't get tomato all over your mother's nice counters. Now, real guineas don't waste nothing, so fill one of these cans of water. I'm just going to pour back and forth all four cans. So the inside of your can is nice and clean like that. And then you take this water, tomato, tomato water, and you add it right in. Now what that's going to do is it's going to stop it from getting too thick too early on. This way you can cook it, you can let that meat cook, and at the same time it's all going to cook off later so that it's not too wet either. It's going to be perfect consistency at the end. Now like I said earlier, a lot of the flavor for this is going to come from that pork, all that meat. So we're just going to go in with the Italian seasoning, give that a good stir, some salt and pepper to taste. Then you let it sit for a while. All right, now let that come up to a nice boil. You're gonna turn the heat up a little bit. Once it's boiling, put the meat in, and then reduce it so that it doesn't splash everywhere. You can cover it, 
And that's also where you're going to put that cheese in that we had cut up before. By the way, I forgot to mention, you're also going to want to add in like some red pepper flakes, but I mean like two or three, not many, or else you're making a Friday avla. You might as well make yourself some mussels right now. Now, I know four cans of tomatoes seems like a lot. It looks like it's making a lot of sauce. But I don't think I need to go on like some Forrest Gump type soliloquy about how much you could do with this. I mean, anything. You could use it the whole week. Eat for a full week with one pot of sauce. All right, so we're bubbling over here. So now it's time for in with the meat. The important part of cooking is finding some dummy to do the dishes for you. You can also put that cheese in now. And you're going to want to stir pretty frequently so nothing sticks and nothing burns. But gently, because you don't want to break up your meatballs in accident. Now when sauce is boiling, it tends to spit a lot. So you're going to want to get a nice little bit of beak like this, a uh, splatter screen. This way you get that instead of all over. Alright, so it's been a little over an hour, hour and a half or so since the meat went in. Let's give this a shot. Oh, look at that. Just rolls right off. That's ready. Alright, that's all there is to it. Put up a nice pot of water and enjoy the perfect Sunday sauce. Like and subscribe.